As they say, welcome to Jamaica Mon. So this is my first travel vlog, specifically for kiters with their family. We're at the Hilton Rose Hall Resort and Spa here in St. James, Jamaica. Montego Bay is about 20 minutes from here. The Hilton Rose Hall is an all-inclusive resort. I'll go over the resort features in a bit. First, let's talk kiting. I picked this location because the area has some good stuff written about it on kiteform.com, claiming some pretty reliable winds pretty much all year. I started monitoring the wind here on Wind Alert in January. It showed lots of days averaging over 20 miles per hour at the closest weather station in Montego Bay, so here we are. There is a kite school a few miles away. Usually that's also an indication of decent wind as well. The wind here is a solid east to west, making it almost directly side or side onshore with some fun wind swells. When I looked for a place to stay in this area of Jamaica, I was hoping for a, a four-star all-inclusive resort that had kiting on property or adjacent, and a place that has plenty to do for the family. We're here the first week of April. Now apparently the last kiter that was allowed here started rigging at the east end of the property where the people are swimming. He dunked his kite and took out a four-year-old and sent him to the hospital. Obviously, that's how we get banned. Good kiters know always launch downwind from where the people are, right? That being said, I was able to negotiate a good spot on the property with the hotel manager where you're out away from people. I would consider this an intermediate launch. I self-launch on the grass and then make my way to the water. Not really an issue, but beginners might find that intimidating. I tried to launch from the water with the kite on the narrow beach, but that puts you past the wall into the rocky bottom. Now, if you stay in front of this wall, it's a sand bottom to get out. Once you're out on the water, you'll find some nice windswell ramps heading out. Coming in, I did my transitions in front of or downwind from the pier where it was flat water. Realize that this is pretty much right in front of the hotel, so you're gonna get a lot of attention here. I must have been stopped at least a dozen times by people who were very curious about the whole sport. By the way, I was also the only kiter out the whole time. I did see a kite out where the school is, but I was the only one out in this area for sure. I don't get it. This may not be Maui wind, but I think it's a good solid location. I even found a bailout point further down the beach on the sixth hole of the adjacent golf course that I had to use one day when the wind shut down on me. Okay, let's talk gear. I'm on a 138 by 43 Nobile split board. It's my travel board. For kites, I use North Rebels and I have a Core XR3 for my 17 meter. Okay, before you freak out on my kite sizes, realize I'm a big guy at 210 pounds plus and I'm always on two to three meters more kite than most other guys. Here are my kiting notes. I kited seven of eight days here, mostly using my 15 meter, although one day was basically a waste. Overall, I had a great time in the water and was still able to spend time with my family. Never leaving the property to kite was also a huge bonus. Now let's talk hotel. Here are my ratings. The room is a seven. It's clean, but it's on the smaller side. Nothing to wow about. Food is at eight to nine. The breakfast is great. Lunches are the letdown. They claim 100% beef burgers, but they are pre-cooked and dry. Dinners are okay in the buffet restaurant and very good to excellent in the smaller boutique restaurants. My favorites, Three Palms, which you take a provided shuttle to, and Luna de Mar, but my wife, she really likes Smokehouse. There's a good offering of on-site activities, shows both during the day and at night, and of course, their Lazy River with slides as well as a kids club for the little ones. They also have a teens club, but my 15-year-old twin girls had zero interest in it. Note that the alcohol is pretty basic, nothing premium. If you're a beer drinker, no big deal, lots of red stripe. I took my girl sailing, played on the slides with my son, and spent some time on the beach with my wife. And of course, dinners at the boutique restaurants are always a good time for all to gather and share. Hard to complain, right? Special thank you to my twins, Libby and Natty, for taking my kiting pics, and to my wife, Amy, for tolerating and even supporting my kiting habit. And of course, a shout out to our little man, Axel, who also had a great time. Promotional considerations, none. We paid for everything. So there you have it, the Hilton Rose Hall Resort and Spa here in Jamaica. I give it two thumbs up for kiting with the family. Thanks for watching, I'm Tor Dietrich.